So Tasteful Selections was started in 2010 here in Bakersfield, packing under its own label. We specialize in baby potato production. So we're a year-round operation and we moved um, you know, geographically throughout uh, the southwestern United States, Arizona, Nevada, uh, California. We plant about, oh, somewhere close to 250 days a year. Um, and we end up harvesting about 320 days out of the year. So we're always delivering fresh product into the store. We, you know, we aim to store potatoes for less than three months uh, from the time of harvest until they're shipped out. It would have been a phone call in 2018. And we, man, I wonder if they have any units out here that we could prove concept with. And I think I was lucky enough to get Jacob on the phone that day. And uh, we started talking and we did a demo where we were responsible for the freight. And I said, you know, we'll bring it down here. And if it works, it stays here and we'll buy it. And if it doesn't work, we'll pay to ship it back. But within two weeks, I mean, we were already harvesting at that point. The crop shuttle team showed up and helped us install it, helped us set it up. You know, we were dealing with the uh, the complications of harvest that, that normally arise, and uh, it was uh, it was really quite uh, quite easy for us, at least. I mean, the, the responsiveness and the willingness to help at Crop Shuttle, you know, customer service was just outstanding. You know, then we started getting greedy, and it's like, okay, well, you know, what about a scale on these? Like, I, I would really like to know how much weight I have, so that, you know, in a lot of our remote locations, the closest scale is 60 miles away, right? By the time the truck drivers drive an hour, they don't want to turn around. And, so you end up shipping loads that are a little bit uh, light. And it's like, well, we don't have it right now, but it's we have it on crop, you know, grain carts, and we can do this and we can do that, and boom. I mean, by you know, I think again within two weeks, there was another another trip from the crop shuttle crew to come down and get the system installed and get it, uh, you know, calibrated and worked through. And now we have a crop shuttle that lets the operator know exactly how much weight is on it before he starts filling a truck. So at least. You know, you have a starting point outside of just a, a gauge on that truck before it goes and hits the scale. Then we wanted to see, okay, well, now uh, we're working with uh, Scott's Evolution tables at the packing shed. Can you put a Scott's Evolution table instead of a different dirt elimination system on the front? And, uh, and when can you have it here? And Jacob's been out here six times and we've, uh, you know, that's one thing understands what we're doing, you know. Uh, really on this particular shuttle, um, there was modifications done to uh, the evolution table. There was modifications done to the modified version of the cart that we had before. And just, you know, it's really been customized to what we do. Really very few of those customizations have been done here afterwards. I mean, most of that, it just comes from you guys at Trump Shuttle really taking the time to understand what we're doing and, you know, sitting around looking at the machine and how to, how to correct those items. So um, really the, the level of customization that this carts have, you know, the Crop Shuttle has installed into this cart now, you know, just speaks volumes to uh, to what can be done. I would say if you're considering a Crop Shuttle, um, you know, from having been uh, privileged to see it in, in its early stages, it's a product that comes with a basically a service guarantee. You know, a lot of the customizations still have to be proven. You know, we didn't know that the Scott's Evolution was going to work and that it was going to work perfect, but I knew that once the crop shuttle landed here with the table that I had asked for on it, Jacob was going to be on the flight the very next day and, you know, there was going to be a level of support. Had we had any kind of problems with it, I knew that we were going to have the support to get it back to where we needed it right away. I mean, I keep waiting. At some point, they're going to say, well, now you're asking for too much. Basically, any request we've made has been, um, has been faced with a you know, a willingness to, to challenge it and, and deliver. So.